What's up everybody? Welcome back to the PC Pit. Today we're having a little bit of a different video. We're unboxing MSI's B550 Micro ATX Bazooka motherboard. And I would be lying to you if one of the reasons that I got this motherboard wasn't that I wanted to green screen with a bazooka. But that's coming up later in a full in-depth review of this motherboard. This video is all about unboxing and overviewing the MSI B550 Bazooka. But before we jump into that, I just want to remind all of you to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon. That'll keep you up to date here on the channel with RTX 3000, Ryzen 4000, and Big Navi coming here in the near future. So stay tuned for more. Now going into this, Honestly, I was in the Micro Center, I was looking through the shelves, and I was like, what, what do I want to play with? And the only thing I could think of was green screening with a bazooka, and I was like, let's do it. So today we're taking a look, and it's going to be a quick, brief overview and unboxing. I haven't even opened this thing up yet. And then we're going to dive into a deep review here in the next few days, looking at VRM, chipset, thermals, and much more. But today we're just taking an overview and unboxing video. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into that and see exactly what this motherboard looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. So as you can see, it's in a pretty tiny box here. Um, the sticker does say $129.99, so this board does come in at that price point, and it's a pretty respectable price point for the motherboard that you're going to be getting in this category. It's a little bit cheaper than its bigger brother, the MSI Mortar, and we're going to directly compare it to that a little bit here in the overview, as well as in the performance. Now, it also is a little bit cheaper than like MSI Steel Legend, and we'll talk about that board a lot as well in the review, but for the most part, the important part about this box is there's a bazooka on it and that's really the only reason that i wanted to take a look at this thing and it's actually really at a respectable price for micro atx motherboard so if you guys are in the realm of looking at a micro atx build this could be a perfect fit for you so the front of the box doesn't really tell you anything besides that it's got a really cool looking branding to it and that's about it and that it's Ryzen 3000 compatible, not compatible with basically any other CPU from AMD besides the 3000 series. We'll go ahead and flip this guy on the back and take a look at that. My important thing about boxes with motherboards, the only really important part is the back of the box. If you can't actually open the box up wherever you're shopping, um, you can at least take a look at the back picture on the box and see if it has the feature set that you need. Most of the other stuff is just boasting. Um, it is just pretty much a big ad trying to draw you into their product. Um, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. So I already opened this up in one other recording of this video and um, I just kind of threw everything back in for the re-record because I accidentally kicked the camera and knocked it right off of the tripod. So um, we're going to go ahead and take the board out. It's just in its nice little protective wrapping here. And we're going to set this over here. And this was really interesting. Um, looks like the guy who packaged it up left a booger or something. So not very sanitary. Um, but anyway, here you're going to get most of this stuff. Um, this was also in the box, but I forgot to put it back in. So we'll just pretend it was there. But um, you get a... MSI DVD with your BIOS and utilities that nobody has probably used in, well, probably since Windows Vista or something, but useless. Um, you then get a uh, CPU installation guide or fan guide. And what I really thought was interesting about this was I'm not quite sure why we have Intel's 20XX CPU socket on here with it being the AMD B550. Somebody wants to let me know why in the comment section down below. That would be awesome. Um, but if you flip this guy over, you can actually see how you install an AMD CPU into this thing. So that is nice. At least that's relevant. Um, but for the most part, if you're buying a motherboard, you probably know how to do this part of it. If you don't, this can help you out in a bind. So now another important part of this entire box. Now you tend to use these a lot, but they're all pretty much universal is your user's guide. So this is going to give you all kinds of different information about the board, BIOS, the feature set, where you plug in what cable for what. But they're pretty much universal. If you grab an Aorus Micro ATX motherboard guide, it's gonna pretty much have the exact same stuff. Some features might be in different locations, but for the most part, if you're trying to find out which front header plugs in where, you can get that information from almost any guide. Now, the other important parts of this, you do get two SATA cables. So that's not a whole bunch, but you know, depending on the size of your build or what you're doing, you might not need more than two. If not, you can get them pretty cheap. Now, here's a bunch of fluff 
from MSI that's unimportant. This is just really a, hey, why you should buy more of our MSI products. Um, this is a MSI rewards program. I don't know a whole lot about the rewards program. Let us know in the comment section down below if you guys think it's a good thing, a bad thing. We should definitely take a look at that in the future. This is just a thank you card for choosing MSI. And MSI's got some really great products out there. Um, and I appreciate when they throw these little cards in. They don't really mean much. And honestly, they could save a tree. But whatever, I feel good about myself. If you like your little dragon logo, you're uh, an MSI fanboy to say. You can stick this on the front of your building. A lot of times it looks really nice. Um, here is your IO shield for the back, the thing that I put on at the very end of every build that I have for some reason, and I have to tear everything off and start all over. And then one really important thing, and one thing that I think is really nice, they give you an abundance of NVMe screws, and a lot of motherboards don't. A couple of the ASRock boards I looked at didn't even have any come in the box, so this was really important to me. I always lose these or forget them, so thank you MSI for throwing those guys in there. Now let's go ahead, we're gonna close this thing up. Throw the motherboard on top of the box and take a little bit of a closer look at it. Okay, so here is the B550 Bazooka. So the first thing that I really noticed off the top of my head is just exactly um, the Bazooka logoing and MSI is really just a really nice design, at least on the aesthetics of the motherboard. The first thing that really pops into my head here when I see the bazooka is just how nice of a heat sink this is on top of the chipset. Definitely look, looks like it'll take care of any issues there whatsoever thermally. And it also looks like a pretty beefy one up here on your VRMs as well. Um, and honestly, when you're looking at this compared to maybe the MSI mortar, those both look extremely good and it doesn't look like they really cheaped out too much on that phase of cutting down the price of this motherboard. One thing that I wish they would have done, which obviously you're trying to save cost, um, I would like to see the entire rear connectors all covered up by that heat shield. It does cost a little bit of extra money and I can see why they would have left that out. But it's also very nice that you do get a heat shield on top of at least one of the M.2 slots here. Would have been awesome to see them do it on both. I think it just would have looked great aesthetically across the board. Now. For the most part, it's just kind of what, what feature sets you need on a micro ATX motherboard. Some of them might come with features that you really need or features that you don't need, and that might lead you different ways. So um, you do have an LED switch down here, which I think is really nice. You just pop that guy left or right. Um, and then it's just kind of the location of any headers that you might need. You have a USB-C uh, connector over here. Um, and I'm a big fan of that. Not a whole lot of micro ATX motherboards are going to come with that. And it's just, if you need that connector, you might just pick this board just because of that. Now, this isn't going to come with onboard Wi-Fi. MSI does have the mortar version that comes with onboard Wi-Fi. And if you needed that, then obviously that might be the direction you wanted to go. Or maybe you would get an M.2 Wi-Fi or, you know, you could go several different ways. They have two PCIe Express lanes here that you could hook up onboard Wi-Fi or sound card or whatever it was you were looking to do. And for the most part, that's kind of a nice little overview of the board. You have three system fans on this guy. Obviously, if you were gonna put it in, you know, depending on what kind of build you were throwing it in, it could just, you know, be lacking a couple features, but that's kind of what you get with micro ATX. They're gonna cut down a little bit on everything. You do get four SATA ports here. Um, went and kicked the camera again. One thing that I do like that MSI didn't feel the need to do was they didn't act, add in an extra four pin connector up here for no reason. Um, some boards do that for whatever bloody reason. I have no idea. But anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and jump out of this. We're going to talk a little bit about the VRM and everything on this board and then we'll wrap everything up here in just a second. Okay, so all in all, I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite B550s just based on how it looks. And Thermally, if it performs really, really well, it could be the most senseful micro B550 buy of all of them because price-wise, this guy fits in right at a sweet spot and it comes pretty much with every feature you could want. Um, and then on top of that, it just looks, aesthetically looks great. And it comes with extremely beefy heat sinks on top of the chipset and the VRM. And just from an overview standpoint, I don't really have much to complain about besides the fact that I got a MSI booger for some, some re re weird reason. But anyway, 
Um, I believe this is a 10 plus three phase VRM and I might be wrong about that. And if I am, I will correct that in the comment section down below before this video goes up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a little bit of an overview, something I've wanted to try a few times. We're gonna do an overview on our MSI liquid cooler that we just bought a 240 millimeter radiator. I believe it's the core liquid. Um, I probably have that called wrong. But anyway, we're gonna do an overview and an installation guide for that. We have some build videos coming up, a giveaway coming up, and we got a whole lot of stuff going on the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the PC pit in the next one.